Today, I'm not coming to you with the happiest of news, <laughs> but in the spirit of like we share our lives with you guys, um, and because I appreciate so much everybody reaching out and sharing their own stories, I know that you guys will be able to help through this process. So we did get the call this morning that my three hour test results came back and they came back positive. So I do have gestational diabetes and it really stinks and it's really scary. They do four blood draws. My first blood draw was abnormal. My second blood draw was abnormal. My third and fourth weren't. I don't really know what that means. I hope it means that I don't have it as bad as I could have it. My first question was like, what is the danger of this? And like, how much is this gonna change the end of my pregnancy, you know? Cause it's really scary. You just hear all these stories about it. So basically, like if I do continue to overload on sugar and carbs and my blood sugar's out of whack and I don't exercise and stuff, I'm in danger of having like a baby that grows really fast. It's really big, which my baby's measuring big right now, which now we see the reasoning behind that. It's really important to control it. So I have to meet with an endocrinologist on Friday. They're gonna give me like a meal plan, how I prick my finger and measure my blood pressure. It's basically from what I understand it as of now, like you have diabetes, which is just crazy. What I understand is that you can't give it to yourself. That makes me feel a little bit better, but I still, I don't know, for some reason feel like it's my fault. Yeah, so this definitely changes the third trimester of my pregnancy. Now my doctor tests pretty late, so I'm already almost 29 weeks and I'm finding out that I have it. So I'm like nearing the end and I just like hope that I haven't done any damage and that everything's gonna be okay. But I guess if there's anything positive about this is it will cause me, because I have to now, um, it'll cause me to eat healthier and to exercise because now it's like my life and the baby's life d depends on it. <laughs> I was really sad to find that out. I really thought that I would be in the clear, but um, all of the harder things that have happened to me in my life have always led to positive things. And so I'm just hoping that this is another one of those things. I cannot tell you how much I've appreciated all of your kind words, like just through this process up until now, and your prayers and your stories about if, how you had it and stuff. That just means so much to me, this community. I really feel like I'm close to the people that comment and that you guys are my friends. <laughs> And um, I appreciate that. If you could leave in the comments, if you have any suggestions of things that you ate and snacked on and stuff like that, that's like the, that seems like the hardest part is like really changing my diet because now my health depends on it. We have that appointment on Friday and we'll find out more. So I'm trying to stay positive about it, but I ain't gonna lie, I am pretty sad about it. I appreciate your thoughts and your prayers and it's just a little hurdle I'm gonna have to jump over seven and a half months pregnant. <laughs> okay, I just got this really cool packaging and I love these packages. This is a company, this is where I get almost all my workout clothes. It's like one of those subscription services where they send you the stuff. Pick out what you want, send back the rest. Oh yeah, I'm liking these clothes. Okay, so see all these things? It's kind of like a racer, really cute and big for the pregnancy, yes! Spiritual gangster muscle tees. Don't hate meditate. <laughs> And if you want to buy none of them, then you buy none of them. That is cool. Look at the back of that. Love this. Price on this would be 68. So you see it ranges. It introduces me to a lot of new brands. This is super cute too. This is Glider. These are cool. Will they fit on my belly? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, I love these. So these are green and 74. These are also that Glider brand. Energy, love, and light which are three things that I am all about. New year, new you, exercising. I'm gonna make a matcha latte. I love matcha. Did you know that the ancient monks used to use matcha in their practice? Because apparently matcha elevates your level of caffeination while also maintaining focus. So that's all I had to read to become like a matcha fanatic. You definitely have to get used to the taste at the, at the beginning, but I love matcha, so I'm trying to make my own matcha latte, so I'm gonna take you through this process. So you just get a matcha, you can get, I got mine off of Amazon. I don't know what kind this is, because I can't read Japanese or Chinese or whatever that is. You're gonna use like a tablespoon of that, and you're gonna mix that in like some coffee mug. It needs to be ceramic, apparently, and you're supposed to have all these tools, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Toolless. Apparently the water is not supposed to be 
too hot because when the water's too hot, it can scald the matcha. I cook by just my mind. I don't use fancy measuring tools, so I guess a lot. You can get this really fancy gun that will measure your water temperature, or you could just use whatever kind of temperature reader you use for your water. This is a La Creuset pot. You guys ask about this a lot. It's dirty. I'm heating up the water right now, and now I'm gonna froth the milk. You can use any kind of frother. We can't live without this. You could also do this with almond milk, but it's not gonna froth as well in my humble milk drinking opinion. It is now boiling, which boiling water, I think is at 200 something degrees. So I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit so that it cools down to the 170. You could just like open your little spout for a little while. You could take the top off, whatever. My milk is frothed. So now I'll show you how to make this matcha really easily. So apparently a sifter is like the way to go because hang on. you wanna use a little ceramic bowl Kyle is now here um, making his Nespresso beside me, but he's in his underwear, so I can't show. <laughs> I have to keep at this angle. You want to use about like a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on like how much you can handle so that there's no chunks. See how there's kind of like chunks in there? Kyle's mad because he wants to- Turn my coffee now. He wants to turn his Nespresso on. I'm doing it. <laughs> what? whisk it up so you can get matcha whisks or you can use I just use this little frother or you can use a fork whatever I don't think you. that part is as is as um, important mm. you like your matcha I can wash this morning mm. you really do need a whisk whisk but. it whisk the hell out of it so I've now mixed that then I'm gonna pour it into the cup that I'm gonna use. And then I take my frothed milk and I pour that in there. It's important to do everything before you do the frothed milk because um, it mixes better. And then this is gonna make it like a latte, so. What are you laughing at, Kyle? <laughs> I'm just listening to your commentary. <laughs> And then you can also, well, I'm ignoring my husband right now. You can add in honey or vanilla or Truvia, whatever kind of sweetener. I'm gonna add in some honey, just like a little drop. And then I'm just gonna delight myself in my, drink my matcha latte. Do you have anything to say? Half I'm in my man? dang underwear. No. <laughs> Get out of here, I won't make my coffee. Caught um, Jade's cheerleaders this dance, so they are performing at the back. 